You guys, I have a new Tom Ford foundation that we're going to be doing a full day wear test for today. This is the new Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte Foundation. I got it in two shades because I wasn't sure. I got 2.7 vellum and 4.0 fawn. So we're gonna try these two today. We're gonna do a full day wear test. And I am really excited for today's video because it's in collaboration with Risa over at Risa Does Makeup. She is a fellow YouTuber here and she also lives in Las Vegas. Uh, and as I think most of you know, I moved here just you know a few years ago and I don't have many friends here. And she is one of my few friends and she's just been She's just been so dear to me. So I absolutely love Risa. Definitely check out her channel and definitely check out her video because she has oily skin. We're actually the same age, but she has oily skin and I have dry, sensitive skin. So when we are able to do like a foundation wear test together as a collaboration, it is so like useful. It's so informative for you guys because she has such a different skin type to mine. And so many of you always ask me like, do you think this will work for an oily skin? And I'm like, I don't know. I, maybe, you know, I, I can never say for sure. So if you do have oily skin, definitely check out Reese's video for today. Even if you don't have oily skin, definitely check out Reese's video. She's so awesome. She's a makeup artist. So I always learn tips and tricks every time I watch one of her videos. So definitely head on over to her channel, check out her video. And if you're here from Reese's channel, hello and welcome. My name is Michelle. I have very dry, sensitive skin. I'm 46 going on 47. And we're gonna be putting this foundation to the test. So let's uh, let's open these up. So the packaging is kind of typical Tom Ford packaging. A lot of their products come in these uh, like plastic bottles where the product will come up from the bottom. So it kind of keeps it air tight, which is really nice. This is the shade Fawn. This is frosted, so you're actually not gonna get a great sense of the shade, but that is Fawn. And here is Vellum. So very, very close. There's 40 shades in this foundation. And when there are that many shades, all of the shade numbers, I feel like, you know, there's just such the slightest difference between the two. So that's why I couldn't decide. So Vellum is 2.7 and Fawn is 4.0 and they are that close. <laughs> so um, I have used 1.5, I've used 2.0, I've gone up to 4.7 in Tom Ford foundations. And depending on the time of the year, kind of depends on what shade I go with. Obviously 1.5 and 2.0 is kind of like my winter shade. So since we're in July, I thought I would try 2.7 and 4.0. So anyway, we're gonna give these a shot and um, I'm trying to figure out which one to start with first. I think I'm gonna start with vellum only because I feel like this is going to work also in the fall, winter. And I did purchase these off of Sephora. I believe, I'll have all the information down below in my description box, I'm sorry. I always forget the price, but I think it was $88. And yes, and I purchased these off of Sephora and kudos, hats off to Sephora. I got this notification that this was going to be shipped ground. This is like a hazmat product, which I can't figure out why. It's not like in an aerosol can or anything. Um, so I was like, okay, it's probably gonna take like a week to get here. I think it was almost the next day. So anyway, really, really fast shipping. I was very, very surprised. So I'm just looking at the box here. I'm trying to figure out if there's SPF in here. There's no SPF. It is just straight up. <laughs> just straight up foundation. And none of the ingredients are really sticking out to me. In the last few Tom Ford foundation releases, there, oh no, now I see it. There's been lavender oil, which I'm just not the biggest fan of that scent, uh, but I see lavender oil. It is pretty far down on the list, but we'll see if I can smell it. So we're gonna start with vellum and I have all of my skincare down, um, moisturizer, SPF, oils, serums, all of that stuff. So I have that down on my skin and we're just gonna apply this right on top. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with this Tom Ford packaging, but you twist it and then the pump lifts up. Oh wow, it's much more liquidy than I thought. I thought it was going to be more of like a lotion cream. And this shade, I think this shade should work. I've got my BK Beauty 101 foundation brush. I'm just gonna use this. And swipe it down. Oh, yeah, I can smell the lavender. I am glad I went with the vellum because I feel like this is almost too dark. I mean, it's lighter than my forehead and it's deeper than my neck. So it's kind of in between. So I definitely have to bring it down on my neck. So I'm just applying it to this half of my face so we can take a look at the shade, take a look at the coverage, um, see what's going on, kind of compare it to this side of my face. All right, so there is a very, very light layer. 
So it definitely is matte. I can see that on my cheek here. It doesn't especially look powdery per se. It just lacks any kind of radiance, if that makes sense. So it doesn't really look dry. Um, you know how some matte foundations look powdery and kind of dry and almost like velvety? This is just sort of lacking in any kind of like radiance. I like how with one light layer, I pretty much got like a light medium coverage. It's not super high coverage, which suits me. I really don't like a full, you know, heavy kind of coverage foundation, but I do want to see just for, for test purposes for this video, if this is buildable. So I do still have some left on the back of my hand. So I'm just going to pat some more onto my cheek. And the lavender scent is pretty faint, I have to say. I mean, I smell it when I first apply it, but it has pretty much dissipated already. All right, so there is like two light layers and I definitely see the additional coverage, definitely buildable. So that's the 2.7 vellum shade and I'm just gonna go with that. Do we wanna try the fawn? I mean, I do feel like this is already a little bit deep for my neck. I think my self tanner on my neck too is <laughs> it's fading. <laughs> so maybe I'll just stick with the vellum and I will hold on to the fawn when I do like more self tanning. All right, let me go ahead and finish applying it to the rest of my face and I will be right back. All right, so there it is all over my face. I'm just gonna do a close inspection here. Yeah, I think, I think soft matte is definitely an excellent, excellent description for this because I don't feel like it looks dry but it definitely is not radiant at all. I do feel like with the two light layers, I feel like it looks a little, like a little makeup-y around, and when I say makeup-y, sorry, like it looks a little thick or obvious um, down here along my jawline. Sorry, let me blend this in a little bit better. It just looks the slightest bit makeup-y on my skin. And like, I can kind of see like the peach fuzz down here. So it's kind of like clung to that, like, like that kind of makeup -y, that's what I mean. All right, I'm on the Sephora site, and yes, by the way, it is $88, so I did remember correctly. I just wanted to see like if I kind of like agree with uh, the claims that it makes. So the coverage is medium, I agree with that. Uh, the finish is matte, I do agree with that. Formulation is liquid, skin type, normal, dry, combo, and oily. Uh, it's soft focus matte foundation, hydrating, silky formula, medium to full coverage that lasts all day. I think you could definitely probably build it up to medium full, maybe with like another light layer. Trace's soft matte foundation provides a matte finish without looking cakey or dry. I definitely don't think it looks dry. I think for me, it just looks a little bit cakey here. I think because I have dry skin, I run into that issue sometimes. Um, and it's always like <laughs> on the lower half of my face where it looks, I'm just kind of thick. So I don't know, I may have to disagree with them on that. Yeah, like right here, I just feel like it looks kind of thick. Uh, soft focus microsphere powders blur the look of imperfections and wear extending pigments provide medium full buildable coverage. Skin still looks and moves like skin and feels smoother over time, even after foundation has been removed. Well, that we'll have to see. This formula is also humidity and sweat resistant, dermatologist tested, non-comedogenic, and is designed for all skin types. Well, we will definitely be testing out the sweat resistance because I'm here in Vegas and it is, I don't know, 105,000 degrees. Let's see. It is 100 degrees right now. We have the little cactus out. Yes, it's getting up to 107. So we're definitely gonna be testing out whether or not this is sweat resistant. And as I'm sitting here talking, I feel like this foundation is getting warmer and warmer. I feel like it's oxidizing. Is it me? Sometimes it's so hard to tell because I'm sitting in front of this really bright light and sometimes it just gets a little bit difficult to like really see like the nuance of colors, but I do feel like my skin is starting to look warmer and warmer. Hopefully that will stop. <laughs> because it's starting to look pretty warm. Well, I'll keep an eye on it. We'll see if it gets worse over time. All right, so that's it for the application of this foundation. It is about 11 o'clock in the morning this morning. I'm getting a very late start. So I'm gonna apply the rest of my makeup um, and let's go ahead and take a look at my first check-in. Hey guys. <laughs> 
Let's do my first check in with a face mask on. No, I'm just kidding. Let me take this off. I just ran an errand. I had to go to the UPS store and pick up some packages. So I thought I would do my check in out here with some natural lighting. And so, okay, so far, sorry, let me gather my thoughts. So, my first observation is the oxidization. I think there was oxidization but I think it has subsided. Like it it deepened, I wanna say a little bit, it got a little bit warmer um, and I think you guys saw it, but it has not gotten any deeper since then, which is a good thing. And I do wanna mention the only other makeup I have on right now is I put a little bit of blush on. I put on um, some of the Westman Atelier eyeshadow, the iPods eyeshadow, mascara, and I had lip gloss on, <laughs> but it's all off now. Um, so I didn't put any powder down, I didn't put any additional like concealer or anything. So that's all I have down on my face. I feel like I like this foundation now more than I liked it when I first put it on. I think probably because um, like, you know, I was just outside. I am definitely, I don't know if I'm like dripping with sweat, but I'm definitely very, very warm. And I feel like, I feel like my face is a little bit moist. <laughs> my face is like a little bit moist, like around here. Anyway, I feel like that's actually helping the finish of this foundation. I think when I first put it on for my dry skin and for my taste, it was just a little bit too flat looking, you know, and I like a little something. I don't really know what was I expecting <laughs> with a foundation called Soft Matte, but I guess I was hoping that it was gonna be a little bit more skin-like, but I feel like now I'm achieving that kind of skin-like finish. Like it just looks really pretty, like around my cheeks here, it's looking less like makeup-y and thick around my jaw, which is so interesting because usually it's the other way around. Usually with foundations, it gets worse throughout the day. You know, it just starts to get like really cakey. I had lunch and sometimes when I eat, I feel like, you know, your foundation starts to little, look a little funky around the mouth area. I don't see that. I think it's actually starting to look better. So that's a good thing. <laughs> that is definitely a good thing. And I did just have that mask on I don't feel like I see that the mask has like worn away the foundation. It's like pretty good. And again, no powder or anything on top. So thumbs up for the foundation so far. It is, I should tell you, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. So I've only had this foundation on now, what, like three hours. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna wear this for at least, you know, eight to 10 hours. So let's go ahead and take a look at my final check-in. Hey guys, so um, I was basically like gonna sit down and do like another check-in, but I think this is just gonna be like my final check-in, my final review, because this foundation is, is it's actually just kind of getting worse and worse. And I wanted to do this in natural light. And if I wait the like full eight, uh, nine hours, it's gonna be dark and I'm gonna have to use my studio lighting, which actually makes this foundation look okay because it's very subtle. But I think because this foundation oxidized, I don't think it actually oxidized evenly, if that makes sense. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but I have like a splotchiness here. And then I have, hold on, <laughs> I'm trying to get it the angle right. And then like this weird splotchiness here that's actually my skin right there. But it's like, it looks splotchy. And I was actually just Marco Poloing with Risa because I was like, what is going on with this foundation? And she was like, I am having the same reaction. Like we both thought we were going nuts, but I think that's my theory is that it's because it oxidizes, it's not oxidizing evenly. And it's actually just getting like splotchy in really weird places. I'm trying to see if it's happening on my forehead. Like just, a, do you see that? Like just a little bit, it's like really kind of awful. <laughs> it's really, really awful. Um, the finish of this foundation, I was actually starting to enjoy because like, um, like in my first check-in, I feel like the oils in my skin are kind of coming through and it's making the foundation look a little bit more radiant. But this weird, like uneven, patchiness is really bizarre. I'm really trying to see if there's another spot. Just right. Yeah, it's just really, really strange. I, I really hope, I think you guys can see it here and here the most, and maybe like right here. <laughs> it's so weird. It's really weird. I don't think I've ever had a foundation do this before. I've had foundations oxidize, 
but it, it did it kind of evenly. I've had uh, foundations like wear away kind of unevenly, but this is all foundation. This isn't actually foundation wearing away. It's just changing color. <laughs> so bad. I mean, I'm laughing because it's like, what is going on? But it's really, it's just, it's kind of awful. And I'm like, there's, there's no way this foundation is going to get better as the day goes on. This foundation, I'm sorry. This just gets a really, really big thumbs down for me. I don't like it. I don't like it. I didn't like it that much when I first put it on. I just felt like it looked flat and made my skin look a little bit dull. But I was like, that's okay. You know, I don't really like a matte base or whatever. So if you like matte, as long as it doesn't make my skin look, you know, feel and look dry, I thought that was okay. You know, for those of you out there with dry skin who maybe like a matte finish, I could test it out for you guys. But this is not this is not acceptable <laughs> this is not good at all this no one wants this no one wants this and i have to say this is really um pretty disappointing because i love the shade and illuminate foundation that comes in the bottle i love the shade and illuminate that is the cushion um the glow tinted moisturizer it's not my favorite tinted moisturizer but it's very nice i don't really have a problem with that one at all this one i have a problem with this one is definitely a fail so <laughs> That's it, I'm just gonna go ahead and wash this off and yeah, that's it for this review. So I'm sorry guys, I know you were really, really excited about this one and I was too, but not so good. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to head on over to Reese's channel. Uh, she has a completely different skin type than I do, so you'll get to see her experience with it over there. And subscribe down below if you haven't already. I will see you in my next video.